here we are RV Adventures the Millers um, click subscribe and like on our video here so we can uh, keep making these things so what this video is going to do is going to show you the the woes and everything of uh, upgrading this pedestal here for this king-size bed uh, to provide adequate support for this much heavier king-size memory foam mattress plus two healthy adults sleeping uh, on this bed. The factory one is uh, not that great. So uh, check out the rest of this video and we'll show you uh, what we did as far as removing the old uh, platform and installing a new one with greater support. Today's project, watching. we're going to replace this very thin plywood support for our mattress with a thicker three quarter inch plywood and we're going to make a few uh, structural improvements to the pedestal along with adding this more uh, rigorous plywood to this. So Sonny's going to open this up. We've already pulled the, uh, the struts loose that came with the uh, Sabre 38 DBQ. As you can see, we have the, the two ball mounts here from the struts and the lower mounts there. And the struts that come with this uh, bed lift assembly are um, they're only 50 pound force uh, struts. They have a six millimeter um, shaft and they're 20 inches long and they have um, eight inches of Man maneuverability, I guess piston stroke, eight inches. So um, we've traded up and we're going to be using uh, 100 pound struts. They have an eight millimeter piston, still a 20 inch strut with eight inches of stroke. So here's some of the, we kind of pulled the inner lining back so you can see this is the uh, the mechanism, the uh, the rack and pinion that uh, runs the the slide in and out. It's mounted below your your bed pedestal, and um, some of the framework they have in here. And they have a there's a there's a metal uh, angle iron here that holds up the bottom of the bed. Uh, these are the metal tracks that the slide slides out on. But uh, everything here is just a, a two by two frame, just kind of screwed together. So doing this uh, plywood upgrade, uh, one of the things that we first noticed when we pulled the original mattress out was uh, you can see here, I weigh 190 pounds. And you can see with just me putting my weight in here, how much this bows down and then here at the, the head of the bed they didn't even take this plywood up to sit on this cross piece here and this cross piece is not even screwed into anything so it you can just that flexes down with just me leaning on it but if I come up here and I put my weight down on this like I was going in here to sleep look how much the that piece of plywood is flexed because there's there's no support under it so over time this whole thing is going to bow down and give you a, a very unpleasant night's sleep because your bed's gonna be a big uh, big dish but I mean you can just you can see the deflection here in that plywood because there is no support underneath it so we're gonna we're gonna take our plywood all the way to the wall and we're also going to put uh, some some braces underneath of here to add stability to the center line of this pedestal all the way from from head to foot we're going to bring this piece of plywood out here about another five and three eighths inches which is going to change our hinge point so we can take our hinged piece out here further so we have support um, under the edge of the mattress that overhangs this here by roughly about five and a half inches. 
So we want to add some structure out here so the side of the bed doesn't sag over when you sit on it. And uh, we'll shoot some more video and uh, add it to this as we start taking this apart and uh, get the struts and uh, the pedestal supports in here that we're going to add. So, thank you very much. Here we have removed the entire plywood base for the bed. So here's what we have, our pedestal. I've already done some marking here for our uh, bracing we're going to install um, up here. We're going to run a we're going to run a, a strut all the way down the center of this to give the center of the bed support. We're going to put a, a post here coming up supporting that and we're going to put a post here in the center and then we'll run a supporting member all the way down through here. Just uh, another thing that uh, I'd, I'd gladly pay another uh, 100 150 dollars on the cost of uh, this rig if they would just do something a little bit better than what they do. Forest River wants to say that they're making a RV for the masses. Well, yeah, they might be keeping it cheap. Of course, I wouldn't call the price of a Forest River Saver 38 dBQ cheap, but it is cheaper by standard than, you know, some other stuff, Grand Design being one that we looked at, which was a much higher price uh, rig. So, but, you know, some things like this, we can uh, fix this, get this up to a little bit better supported uh, bed pedestal for probably around $120, $125 worth of materials. So off to Home Depot we go. So we're uh, making our um, extra support beam to go through the center of our, uh, our bed pedestal. So um, we went to uh, Home Depot and we picked out some uh, very nice straight eight foot uh, two by fours here and uh, tried to find uh, one with the least amount of uh, knots and blemishes in it. So we're gonna cut out uh, a notch uh, at the top of the head of the bed for the existing uh, one and a half by one and a half cross member to fit into. And then about 25 inches down uh, in the area where the the hinge portion of the platform is. We have another cross brace in there uh, that's also a one and a half by one and a half that runs across the pedestal. So that's not, that's gonna fit into there. We're cut for our total length inside the pedestal here. And then uh, once we, we'll get this in there, um, turned and into place, and then we'll cut some uh, some pedestal supports, some legs to go under here, one in the front, one just in front of this, and then one at the bottom of the pedestal. And uh, once we get inside and get this kind of locked up into place, uh, we'll show you some more. Now we've got our, uh, <clears throat> our center brace in here. We've got our blocks in place. This is kind of a dry fit. We haven't uh, actually screwed or attached anything to the, uh, the slide portion or the lower part of the pedestal here. So uh, the biggest thing to be aware of um, when you go to attach these is this area here is the bottom of your slide. So if you were to shoot a screw through here that's too long, this could protrude out through the bottom of your slide possibly. So we want to make sure that that doesn't happen. And uh, but uh, you see, we marked our center lines, uh, trying to get this in the center of the the pedestal support. And uh, so now with with these blocks in place, we've uh, we've got a very sturdy pedestal for our plywood foundation to sit on to and uh, hopefully we won't have a 
sagging uh, pedestal in the middle of our bed. So we'll get these uh, all uh, attached and uh, get our plywood cut and uh, we'll shoot some more video. So you can see now we've got our piece of wood in here and it's all braced up. It's all screwed down through here. So like we said that this right here is the slide. It's the underbelly of the slide and there really is no insulation or protection from the heat, cold, whatever arising from through that slide and up into the top of your bed. So we decided we'll stick some insulation in here. You can see we already got one piece in there. And the um, piece of wood that we took off of here that's existing, we're going to cut a piece and we're just going to stick it down here so that it blocks that in. And hopefully, you know, keep the, the weather out of the bedroom a little more than what it currently is. And then we'll put the rest of the decking down. Okay, so you can see here we put the insulation in. We just had some insulation laying around in our office, so that's why it's mismatched. And then we put this piece here in to kind of close it off. Now, if you are really concerned about storage, obviously this is not something you want to do because now you've blocked the space into up in here. But we don't full time. I wasn't really all that worried about it. I'd rather have this more of a controlled environment being that it's in the bedroom than I was worried about the storage under here. So this is our piece that's going to slide up here. And then we've got the last piece that goes on that will be the part that comes up um, that's sitting outside waiting to go on as soon as this one does. So you can see we have our platform completely assembled now. Top piece here is screwed down. Bottom piece, we used a piano hinge on it. Um, we needed one that was five foot long, but couldn't get one in that length, so we ended up having to cut off the edge. Got it all screwed down amongst a lot of cursing from the spouse. Um, and we did 45 the corners here just so that, uh, you know, you didn't hit them when you uh, came around the corner of the bed. And I'm sitting on it so that it will stay down because with these 100 pound struts, you can see it comes up all on its own. <laughs> And so, give you an idea of what we did under here. So again, this is the brace that we put in. Yes, it does limit some of the, I guess, the storage that you can put in here, but to me, it was more important to have a solid foundation here. You can see the board that we put on and the insulation is behind that area there. We did have to move our struts out. You can see the old holes where they were. And then, of course, they're attached at the top. We put this, um, piece of metal here, this, what is it called then? Uh, oh, it's a, it's a aluminum channel. Aluminum channel on. We bought a large piece, cut it down, and this just gives it more stability on this um, outside edge here, because when it comes down, it does hang over a little bit, and we wanted, you know, if you're sitting on the edge of the bed, we want it to be well supported. So, we are going to, oh boy, go... <laughs> We actually put a, drilled a hole in down in, in here. We're going to screw it down until we can get the bed on it because uh, getting the, mat or the mattress on, well, getting the mattress off was a feat in itself because as soon as you popped it up, the uh, mattress or the uh, whole frame lifted up. So we'll give you an idea what it looks like with the bed on. Here we have our slide retracted with our new plywood platform. And... Uh, I guess I measured pretty good. Got about a maybe a, a little over a half an inch of clearance there between the uh, yeah maybe like three quarters of an inch clearance between the dresser and the bottom of the platform. So looks good. Looks like we've got it finished. Buyer beware. Memory foam mattress, king size, in this tight space, is tough to move. When you first bring it in here and it's suctioned up in its little package, it's real easy. But if you ever need to get it out of here and bring it back in, find three or four people to help you. 
myself and the wife here, it was a challenge. But uh, we've got our, uh, our king size uh, memory foam mattress back on here and uh, we've got our holder screw out now and uh, our 100 pound struts work perfectly. Lift it up, ease of storage and put her back down. Of course, every time you raise that, your mattress slides back this way four inches. So, but uh, time for a good night's sleep. Thanks for watching.